The referee blows his whistle. We're off and underway. The red and white shirts, as we look at play from right to left, trying to get something, anything to find a spark in this Premier League season. And now the counter-attack is on, and the counter-attack is led by Mateus Kuna down the near side, the right. His cross into the box fires through the six-yard box. Wang cuts it back to Semedo. The pair interchange passes outside of the penalty area. Wolves attacking towards the cop end to our right. Here's Semedo, swirling cross, looking for Kaladzic. Doyle swings in the free kick, heads will rise, and uh, as they did rise, uh, the linesman's flag on the near side went up for offside. Here's Souza laying out a long right leg to block, then Harmer as he went for it. Anything half decent will do in the tenth minute of the match. It will be Harmer bent into the middle, heads will rise. Max Kilman is underneath it. It will be a jostle for on the edge of the penalty area before it's uh, whacked uh, away by uh, Mario Lamina. And uh, Wolves send Sheffield United back towards halfway, where a uh, swivelling Vinny Souza will uh, release Bogle over on the far side. He uh, is met by two in the gold and black of Wolves, who win it back. Uh, but now Sheffield United are retreating, and here comes the counter-attack. It's the counter-attack led by Mateus Kuna. Wide, the diagonal ball that goes to Nelson Semedo on the right-hand side. Toe prodded back to the edge of the box, and Semedo... Kilman turns over the ball and it's laid down the line and here's the South Korean Wang got the beating of Robinson for pace he'd showed too much of the ball to the former Liverpool defender who blocks not once but twice great defending in terms of sticking to the task here is uh, Tommy Doyle with the corner from the near side bent in right footed glancing header by Kaladzic Sheffield United stay on the attack and it's with Harmer Harmer into Brewster in the D turning lays it out diagonal ball looking for Thomas Tommy Doyle the 22 year old will take it furiously hit ball Fodringham came for it brilliant double fisted punch to get the ball clear did that very well there West Fodringham Kuna levers it back to Semedo now the ball is pushed in field to Huang. Huang gets it back. Lovely little interchange involving a deft touch from Kaladzic. Huang through to Kuna! And Kuna's right-footed effort was tipped over. There are a clutch of players in yellow. Mark touched tight by those in red and white as Doyle bends in the corner. Doesn't beat the first man, which is Ollie Norwood. Potential, oh. ugh, potential was there for a counter-attack, but Harmer uh, screwed the header. Now an opportunity for Ait. Uh, Nori, touch to the left of centre, stutter step run up, Doyle will whack it. Poised, one foot in front of the other, he is though the decoy, Harmer bends it in, headed away by Kuna, counter-attack on now for Wolves, but it's over hit. Referee said play on, Kuna was surely appended, Huang beats one, beats a second, and then, and then! As the ball is won back by Austin Trusty, the American takes it off his chest, he chips the ball in back stick, looking for Bogle forward ball into the feet of Brewster who looks wide to Archer the cavalry is coming once again as Thomas wins it back Archer has it on the near side which is the blades left hand side in a crossing position he opts not to take the opportunity back it goes to Trusty into Brewster digs it out just behind the D Nelson Semedo to Kuna back to Semedo who's flying in behind square ball into Ait Nuri he toe prods the ball wide looking for Doyle but there was the back scrambling Gustavo Hamer to intercept Kuna rolling oh, it through, Semedo square ball, what was he thinking, should have had a go, out it comes, Doyle shoots along the deck, blocked by the legs of Austin Trusty. Brewster, oh, leaving right. Totti off the ball, surely he was oh. dragged down, surely he was dragged down, but then Totti's given the ball away, but uh, that might only be a temporary thing, and Totti and Brewster go shoulder to shoulder barreling one another Bogle is sprinting away down the far side in goes the cross but it's behind but the referee says that is that in this second half Sheffield United will play from left to right towards the uh, cop end Archer bends one from the corner of the penalty area he had Jose Sar scrambling Wolves have given the ball away. Here's Harmer pirouetting over the ball into the feet of Archer. He tees up Souza. Nobody heard the man on down the line. Great ball by Bogle to release McAtee. He cuts up to the corner of the penalty area. Hacked down by Craig Dawson, who gets a yellow card. Cries of United on repeat around Bramall Lane. McAtee over the wall and well wide of the post. 
Cries of leave it from Jaden Bogle. Bogle gets a corner. Short corner to Norwood. Laid back to Thomas. Thomas keeps it moving. Harmer takes a first touch. In goes the shot from Harmer. Robinson spears the long throw into the penalty area. Flicked back by Souza. It's rolled off Kaladzic. Behind it goes for a corner. In comes another corner into the box. Dawson. Craig Dawson, the tall defender with the glancing header away. Scrambling to win it back. Baldock. Baldock challenged by Eit Nori into Baldock. Back to Bogle. A little shimmy of the feet, but the third touch is over hit. Kuna tries to bring it clear, but Norwood wins it back and he's prodded it down the line. First time cross from Baldock in at the near post. Doyle scuffed header away doesn't go out of play and it's picked up by Gustavo Harmer legs powering on into McAtee great first touch side leg to the edge of the penalty shoot. area oh yeah. <laughs> well, yeah exactly yeah you and thousands of others have just said shoot pulsating as Robinson launches a throw into the penalty area Kaladzic nods it away flicked on by McAtee it's picked up by Bogle who drives on scintillating run surely he was brought yes. down and surely he was brought down and fouled and it will be a free kick. Oh. The referee's blown his whistle, and it will be bent in by Harmer. Back stick, and saw Rose all in green. Inside left channel of the penalty area, the cop end stands to its feet, in goes the cross, and the pirouetting Totti clears the ball away on the volley. Following up Bulldog, legs pumping, work to the near side, into Bogle. The ball gets caught in the spray as McAtee receives it on the corner of the penalty area. Out it comes to Norwood, who struck it right-footed. Tommy Doyle will take. Stutter step run up. The ball speared up towards the edge of the penalty area. The ball flicked backwards by Gustavo Harmer down the near side. And it's played into Belgard. Belgard with the cross. It's a wild one. Willis Sula and Anis Ben Slimani are uh, thinking about warming up down pitch side. And now a little breakaway. And Cameron Archer's in behind the Wolves defence. Edge of the box. He yeah! shoots. And he's got in. And Sheffield United lead against Wolverhampton Wanderers in the Premier League after a rocket of a shot from Cameron Archer after he broke through the Wolves back line right in the nick of time he let fly and it flew in and for only the third time this season Sheffield United lead with 19 minutes of normal time to go it's Sheffield United 1 Wolverhampton Wanderers nil. Now Wolves try and goes forward with Mateus Kuna. Jack Robinson knocks the ball away. Wolves have the corner then from the far side. Bent in left footed, high into the penalty area. The heads will rise. West Fodingham comes for it, makes the catch. Akati gets it, weaves in from the dead ball line. Archer gets it back, beats his man. Can he turn? Yes, he can. Ball squeezed back to Bogle. And the shot hit a Wolves player, surely corner. Corner then for Sheffield United. Speared into the Ooh. middle. Heads will go up. Austin Trusty. Work here for Austin Trusty to do. Mateus Kuna takes on the American and it's squeezed behind for a corner. Going out to uh, take the corner, Jean Rinkner Belgarde. He bends in the corner, uprise the heads, Colmouse scramble and it's cleared away. It remains 1 0. Cameron Archer's goal is one to behold. Now a shooting opportunity for Wolves, who've equalised. A bitter blow from Jean Rinkner Belgarde who brought the ball down, inches inside the penalty area, and turned before hitting a curling shot past West Fodringham, who couldn't keep it out. And with 90 seconds of normal time to go, it's Sheffield United 1, Wolves 1. Now Kuna, 25 yards out, in it goes Fabio Silva, unmarked. It's smacked long by... Uh, Jack Robinson and now McAtee, McAtee, through it goes, edge of the box, McAtee again, he shoots, hits the leg of Lamina, McAtee trying to keep things alive, isolated by the corner flag on the far side, uh, Thomas is there in support, so too is Norwood now, Norwood turns over the ball, bends it into the penalty area, Silver is forward, so too is Bogle. In comes the corner from Norwood, high into the air. The ball is attacked by Robinson. The, it might drop in here now for Archer. He's struggling to get it back away from Silva. He goes down. Yeah! Referee points to the spot. With the last kick of the game, it's a kick out to concede a penalty. Ollie Norwood. To win it, he wins it. He doesn't only win it, he's nearly broken the net. Well, we have had the most dramatic end of the game here at Bramall Lane. 
Cameron Archer opened the scoring from 25 yards. Belgard equalised for the visitors. And Ollie Norwood rattled home the penalty. Sheffield United, with literally the last kick of the game, have beaten Wolverhampton Wanderers by two goals to one.